Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, thank you for clicking on this video because today we are going to review the e.l.f. Halo Glow Foundation. Um, I've heard really good things about it and then I've heard bad things about it so we'll see how it does on my face. Um, I know with my camera it's not a filter. I don't know how to change the settings, so my face does look very flawless right now. Um, I'll see if I can, I'll try, well not try, I will take a picture of a before and after and like, I guess like on my phone, just so you guys can see the difference between my face and with this foundation. I'm also gonna try the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I haven't tried this one. I've heard good things about it. I've heard good things about other primers. I was like, you know what? Elf, let's try them both. Why not? And so yeah, if, if you wanna know what I say about these two products, then stay tuned, guys. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. And let's see. I will tell you what I use, like, um, obviously the foundation and the primer, but also um, I bought a new um, beauty blender and then I have some lip products and stuff like that that I like to use. So we're just gonna clip our hair away. And if I look down, it's because I don't have a mirror, so I'm using my tablet as my mirror because this is the best lighting that I have because in the restroom it was just horrendous lighting. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that. So if you see me look down, I'm looking literally <laughs> at my lap laptop, at my a tablet as a mirror. So yeah, I don't know what to to talk about, guys. I guess I can. Oh my god, why can this clip open? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to break it either. Stuck or something? Oof. If you hear Bluey in the background, I have it on my for my dog. Okay, we're just gonna go get another clip. Um, I guess we can use this one. So, um, I always put it for my dog so she can. No, this looks ridiculous. Let's go, let's go get another one. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, like I said, if you hear Bluey in the background, yes. I play it for my dog. I went to work out and I don't like to leave no 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 noise for her. So I was like, yep, we're playing Bluey. Okie dokie. So let's start with the e.l.f. primer. So oh and like I said, I was like, I don't know what to talk about, but I guess the most exciting part is that ah, my wedding is a year and some days away from now. So I'm so excited for that. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate or whatever, but it is my wedding and I'm doing my own makeup. I'm doing my own makeup and that is because I just, yeah. I can have my products to touch up whenever I need it to before the ceremony and after the ceremony before the venue and if we do something after after the venue so that is why I'm doing my own makeup I'm still playing with makeup here and there to see what I really love for myself um, just because I'm someone who doesn't really wear makeup but I just for that day I want to and but also I don't want to look at back at my pictures and be like who the heck was that like mm -mm, no so okay so we're gonna try and then another oh it has a little pump that's so cute um, another thing is that 
I found my wedding dress. I am not gonna show it to, I mean, I have showed it to some people in my life, like my mom, my soon-to-be mother-in-law, uh, my friends, and just some people because I don't, I don't want anyone to like, I don't know, show it to my fiance or something, so yeah. That's why I was like, mm, yeah, I'm just gonna show it to some people, not everyone, which, which I wish I could, because I'm someone who I love to just show people, right? So, show people what I do, show, um, I don't know, I just, I love it. And so, it sucks because I can't show him anything. I can't show him anything, and like, I always tell him like, does this look good on me, what about this, like, He's literally like my, I, what is it called? Like my personal designer, is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, he always tells me if, I, if it doesn't match or something. So I'm like, well, with my wedding dress, I can't show it to him. And it's just like, ah! Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys what shade I am. So the shade that I'm using is 0.5 Fair. So, can you, will, will it focus? Will it? Uh, I guess you can kind of see it. Um, yeah, so that's the one I'm using, and I already put primer on my face, so that's good. Okay. So, ooh, opening my beauty, beauty, beauty blender up. Oh my goodness, golly, okay. Um, let's go with this thing. So, BRB. Okie dokie. I'm back. I did wet it. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know. But, okay. So, like I was saying, my dress. I, we bought the veil already. So, I'm excited for that. And I want, we had to order my dress. So, once my, my dress gets, gets here, um, I'll be trying it with the veil and with everything. So I'm trying to get everything that I'm gonna use for my wedding day, the day that my dress arrives, if that makes sense. Just because I wanna feel, I wanna have the full thing. So I feel like, oh snap, like this is, this is going to be me walking down the aisle in all this. So I'm so excited for this, for that. Um, yeah. Um, and I love my wedding dress. I just, every time I look at my pictures from when I tried it on, I'm like, oh my goodness, like I wanna cry. Happy tears, obviously. And so, okay. So this is the applicator. It doesn't smell bad, but oh well. Um, but yeah. I'm just so excited for this, and ew. um, I just I want to wear my dress already, like so bad. But I don't know. Um, what's it called? Oh my god, I like went blank. So, oh, we're missing like other stuff for our wedding. Like we need to get the church, um, but their, uh, what's it called? Like their book, um, they still don't, they can't like book anything. We already booked the venue. So yeah, I'm hoping now the, um, church can we can like have the same date which hopefully we can positive vibes we will have the same day um, but I am so excited and uh, yeah like I said we have the venue we have some of the stuff but I like and then, since we're getting married through a Catholic church, we have like the lasso and what? the arras, the coins. Like we have that already, which those were one of the first. Oh, 
hold on my timer. Like I was saying, um, so we have some stuff. Um, and then what else do we need? I feel like we need like the photo booth, like stuff like that. But I need to know exactly, like once I book the church, then I feel like I will just start like calling everyone and just be like, hey, like do you have this available for this day? Stuff like that. Just because um, I feel kind of stuck because of the church. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I feel kind of stuck because I don't have the date for the church yet. So I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to call and be like, hey, I don't know. It's just, I want to have the church book too, just so I can start making all the calls. But I mean, I already have an idea of what our theme for the wedding will be. Um, I did get this book, The Modern. The Modern Wedding by Kelsey, um, yeah. So this just tells you so much about wedding stuff, yeah. So I just think it's beautiful and I am so excited to keep reading that book. Um, this is actually really good, it's like, this is more of a glow to your face and in foundation, but it feels really good. I kind of like it. I actually do really like it. I know there's another one that I want to try. I think it was either NARS. I've never tried NARS, and there was another one. And I know it was a drugstore one, but I, I just can't remember. Um, but, so we have that. And, uh, ooh, for the wedding. Oh, I'm take it. oh, and then the invitations. Like I have, I have a an idea of it, of all the things that I want for the wedding. I just need to call the people once the church is booked. So that is what I need to do. But hopefully, that they keep telling us in the church that maybe by June 2024 they'll have the book ready for us to book. For 2025, so yeah, I'm excited for that. And then I'm, I'm, I don't know. Like I still don't know what jewelry I want to wear because, as you can see, like here, I don't want to stay in my shirt. Here I have his initial, and then I have a, a little teardrop that I've had since I was a baby, and I really like my necklace. Like I feel like if I have it at my wedding it's because it's sentimental to me and I really want to wear it the earrings that I have these little um, little ball earrings I've had them since I was a child a baby and so I feel like these are special for me too because oh I've had them since I was a baby literally like I've had them since I was a baby and I keep blending I don't know. Uh, but yeah, um, my hair is gonna be down. That's how I'm gonna wear my hair. I still have my extensions, so that is why I have extensions for the wedding. And then um, I have two blushes. I have a, a Rare Beauty one, which this one is Happy, in the shade Happy, and then I have Benetton. Which, I mean, I already have very red cheeks, so I might just use a little bit of the happy one because I like using the Benetint for my lips. I know. So, I'm gonna just put just a couple of drops and use my finger too. Um, I do... Oh wow, that kind of looks like ooh, I've, I've never worn um, blush. What's it called? Oh my god, guys, I'm like. Um, what am I saying? Oh yeah, like I don't wear blush because my cheeks are always so red. 
But for this video, I will for a review. Cause I, I mean, I'll just do a review of all the products that I'm using. Um, but this is such a pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like my apples on my cheeks are always so red, even with the blush. I feel like you can't really tell on camera though, but yeah. Um, and then like ugh, I have like some not acne, but so it's making it look a little bit too weird. But oh well. Um, I think that's. What else do we need? We need to make an, a list of exactly the people that we need or we want in our wedding. Which I mean, we do have for the most part um, people that we want to invite, but we need to sit down and just be like, hey, these are the people that we're inviting because we need so many invitations and to save the dates. Um, hold on, I'm gonna do my lashes. So, we need, um, yeah, we need to sit down and do that. Uh, what else do we need? Like, I feel like I am kind of stuck because I don't know what else to, ooh, what else to do. Like, I just, I feel stuck because of the church that they don't have the date book. Which, I mean, I can always just, like, start buying, like, things. Like I still need, um, for my day, like when I'm getting ready, my robe, my slippers, my pajama set, like I still need all that. So I can start buying stuff like that. Um, I don't have to wait for obviously the church, right? But um, I think I'm gonna start looking for stuff that I like. So I'm also gonna get a lash lift and tint for my wedding. Because I don't want to deal with the mascara. I don't want to deal with, um, I don't know, like my lashes falling. And I don't want eyelash extensions. That is just not me. Um, sorry guys, I forgot to tell you. This is the Revlon Voluming Length. And then I always go with this one also. Uh, I'm not sure where you can get this one. My... I think it was my mom who got me this one and it was from downtown in Laredo. So I don't know if, where you can get it. I'm not even sure you can get it on Amazon. But yeah. And then I also need to get like my lingerie for a wedding. <laughs> um, what else? Um, the garter, I need to get the garter. We need to get the cups, like the one that says the bride, the bride and the groom. So yeah, like the venue comes with a lot of stuff that I don't have to worry about other than going to pick up, I mean pick the colors of it. So that's the only thing. I think that's kind of keeping me sane <laughs> because they do so much and just putting everything together. I just need to go and get the, um, just pick the colors. Um, what else? I think that's it. I try, I always say that's it and then I keep like rambling about stuff. Um, yeah, so we have the wet, we have the venue booked. Um, the dress. He's he's uh, using his uniform, his marine uniform, so he doesn't really have to worry about much. I'm like, oh my goodness, you just need to wear your um, uniform and your shoes and your hat. What else? Mm, I think I don't know what else, guys. I don't know what kind of earrings I want to use other than. Cause I don't know, like I just, it's gonna be a pain for me to take all my jewelry off. But I mean, if I have to, I will. 
I just, I don't know if one stud, I, I mean, I think, right? Like, that'll look very classy, just one stud instead of like stud and hoops. But not like humongous hoops. Just like tiny little hoops. Um, what else? For eyeshadow, I don't really do much. I just, I literally just grab this and just like, yep. That's all I do. I don't like too much eyeshadow. Um, and then I like to use the Laneige for my lips and like I said, the Benetint. So what I'm gonna do is just I know, I'm like saying quiet. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Benetton, which this is such a pretty color on camera. I have, I'm like looking at my viewfinder too. <laughs> um, I only use a, the Benetton as a, as a lip product. Uh, I know some people don't like it because it can really dry your lips up, but that's what I found that you do the Benetint and then you add some like lip treatment. Lip treatment. Oh my God, why can't I talk? Um, but I mean, I can see on the viewfinder how my face is glowing and that is with Elf. Um, I think, mm, yeah, my lips don't look that bad. So, yeah, and then just add the lip. The lip, the Laneige. Um, yep, okay, and then what else? Um, I yeah, last night I was looking, I, I was actually looking on Party City for like the photo booth, like little like things for you to use. They were so cute. I'm like, oh my god, like, yes, I need those. So, I'm getting. I'm getting some from Party City. So I do I do the Revlon and then a second coat and then I do this one. Um I think so far that's oh my nails. Oh my god, do you see guys? I keep saying like, oh yeah, like I'm done by talking about the wedding, and then I'm like, oh wait, no, no, no. My nails. I need to talk about my nails. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my nails. I don't know if I want French tip or if I want like a pink color like a soft pink color or a white color I don't know well maybe not white because my dress is already gonna be white so I don't think white but I don't know if I want to do French tip or because French tip I did for my for my for our proposal which I mean obviously I didn't know I was getting proposed to but I still did I did that and um yeah, he knew. He knew. This is another lip gloss that I like to use. It's the Rare Beauty one. It is in shade Nearly Petal. So this is a nice one too. I also like to combine. I don't know what is wrong with me. I like to combine my blush with my lip glosses and just put it in my lips. You should try it. You should try it. Um, I think... Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. I think I'm ready, guys. I'm done. Oh wait, no. Oh my god. I need to add my other coat of mascara. I completely forgot. Um, I will keep you in the loop more. I'm not gonna show. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna post the dresses that I bought. What? Oh my goodness. The dresses that I tried on just because I don't want my fiance to look at me in a, in a gown. In a ball gown or in any of the other gowns that I tried. Um, so I'm going to leave that for after the wedding. Um, I'm sorry. I know. I keep teasing everyone on Instagram with me posting like a lot of dress pictures. 
but I just don't want anyone to like send him a picture or send him some I don't know something and be like hey like oh he saw me with a dress like no so I'm gonna leave that but don't worry guys I have every single footage that I've tried on dresses so I'll post it after my wedding and then I'm out like that's the penitent. Um, yeah, my eyebrows are pretty thick, so I don't do anything. I feel like I like I don't need to do anything to my eyebrows because I feel like they're a little. I mean, sometimes I feel like they need a little bit of like um, color in them, but I I, I like my my eyebrows um and then I know my hair is like a, I don't know it's like a blonde but brown color and then my roots are kind of showing but like it's a more subtle root than before because before I had it like just blonde and then black well my hair is not black but my hair is very dark brown compared to the blonde so that's why um uh what else do I need to tell you guys I mean I know I have to talk about a lot of my wedding stuff so if you have any questions comment down below and let me know what you want to know about the wedding like I said we are about a year out already so things are getting like um, I need to start doing more just not instead of just looking at the I guess like Pinterest and being like what do I need for my wedding um, like I said, the book that I just bought, The Modern Wedding, like, I feel like that's gonna teach me a lot, um, as things that I need to buy. And, um, in summer, like, once it starts getting a little bit hotter, I know I'm gonna go and get my shoes because white is more of a summery color, I, I would say, so I think that they would have more of, like, um, white shoes. And the white shoes are for my ceremony because for the venue, um, I'm using white boots. I know, so I think it's the white boots that I use for my Taylor Swift concert, so yeah. <laughs> um, and so like that, I am gonna try to link down the products that I use, so if you guys wanna get them and use, this is like a no makeup makeup look um, I can say that the elf halo glow liquid filter is more just for that glow I know you can't really tell on the camera because my camera just not flushes me out but kind of like blurs I guess my face um, but I on the iPad I can tell like my little red little marks I can still see them so it's more like a glow than um, than an actual like foundation which I mean I like it for an everyday kind of like look just to add a little bit it doesn't feel heavy at all I don't feel sticky at all it just and it, it doesn't have a bad smell like I said I've heard really good things about it and then really bad things about it but I actually do like it and I will be using it throughout until I'm done with it um, but I will be trying another foundation that are two I think two foundations but those will be full coverage um, because those are the ones that I want for my wedding the full coverage and then I think that's it that's all I have to say like I said if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below or you can also message me on Instagram at pinkalley774. So ask away, ask away. And I will put a before and after picture. Yeah, a before and after picture at the end of the video just so you guys can see like the difference with the flawless filter and um, flawless filter. Why did I say that? The halo glow. <laughs> sorry the halo glow um, and also the elf primer because 
I had never tried a primer before. Maybe that's why my makeup was not sticking to my face. But yeah. And then um, yeah, if you have, if you can get your hands on the Benetint, or if you already have it, try using it on your lip it's, uh, and your um, cheeks. And um, it smells really good, though. I think this is like this is my first time actually like trying it. Um, I've only seen it on this girl that I watch on YouTube so much. So yes, guys, if, like I said, if you have any questions, just ask away. And thank you so much for staying with me and reviewing this product with me. And I appreciate every single one of you. And guys, we are almost at 100 subscribers. I know, I'm excited. It's, I know, like, 100 subscribers, like what? I'm just, ah, just blown away. And so thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.